the Jules Verne Undersea Lodge in Key Largo, Florida. It is June 15th, 2016, and this is Kirsten. And last night I spent the night here with this feller. Hi, my name's Jim. Oh, wait, Jim. And that's my husband, Jim. And we, in about 30 minutes, our underwater porter is going to arrive and he's going to collect our luggage and help us get to the surface and until that happens we're going to tell you everything that happened since we arrived yesterday afternoon. Well this is the most unique hotel you'll ever stay. It's sunk 21 feet in the lagoon. It used to be a marine biology habitat that they switched over back in the 80s. So we've had such a good time here yesterday and last night. Well, how do you get here is you take a, a quick scuba class, if you remember scuba, it takes an hour, you'll take two like fish to the water. It's very, very simple, a lot of fun. We've never scuba, had a fantastic time. So you have to scuba up underneath the habitat into this lagoon, I guess you would call it, entrance portal. And you come up and you just sit on here, take your gear off, and you can watch the fish. So you see that fish right there? We've had a lot of fish come through. We've seen the scuba diver. And you just uh, take your gear off and you put it over here. These, for those of you who don't scuba dive, these are weight belts that they add around your waist so that you are able to go down to the bottom of the um, water, yep. which I found interesting. I did not know that because I was not a scuba diver. And so put back up here, all your tanks and everything. So it's very well thought through to get out here. And once you get out of the water, you have to get rid of the salt on your body because it's corrosive. So they have. The shower right there. Nice warm water. Excellent. It's nice warm and cozy in there. <laughs> and then, of course, right here for your other business, that marine the toilet. toilet. And don't flush anything down there but the necessities or else they'll ding you for a new home. So be careful of that. A nice safety feature they have. This room is monitored 24 hours to the command center upstairs. So if you need anything, or if you just say, hey, bring donuts, you have a little sign you can put up here, bring donuts. So this is videoed all the time. You can call them, they can call you. The rest of the pod is private, but they have a video going here all the time, so they know what's going on and who's coming up in here. Very safe and secure. Everything else is private, like Kirsten said, so feel free to do as you wish. So we are going to enter our sleeping quarters. As you can see, it's sealed off to keep the warm air out. It's air conditioned in there. And this is how you go in. Yeah, you have to have a little bit of dexterity. As you can see, it's a sphere. And you need to crawl through there in order to get into our sleeping abode. It's kind of like Skylab for you old folks like me or the International Space Station. <laughs> You feel like that, except you don't float. If you did, you're in some serious trouble. <laughs> and if you do run into any serious trouble, they have an escape hatch right here that they bring a pod down and would attach to it. Didn't happen on our trip, so. So, for those of you who are interested in how we get our stuff down here, this is the bag it came in. This is a waterproof bag, Velcro. They take they triple ziplock your camera, your cell phone, your whatever, your electronics, because if there's Wi-Fi down here, then they seal it up, put it in this bag, ziplock it shut, and then they put it in a plastic um, airtight suitcase, and they compress all the air out of it, sink it down, and your porter brings it up for you shortly after you arrive. So that's how we got dry clothes, our toothbrush, toothpaste, a book to read, a few things we brought with us. They encourage you not to try to bring too much. Yeah, the suitcase is about this big, so you cannot bring much. <laughs> and because, frankly, you have everything you need here. Extra blankets and entertainment. They have the videos we'll show you on the other side. You can bring your iPod. They've got an iHome system here. And as you can see, it's 8.04 on June 15th, 2016. The sleeping accommodations, they have an upper bunk best used for little kids you can see that this is fully carpeted so it's very soft so you're not gonna bang your head or anything it helps also keep it pretty quiet and this is a twin bed so lots of room very comfy both rooms have the same portal for viewing so you can see all the wildlife 
So this is the, the second room is the same because like Kirsten was saying, they do rent this out to two couples at a time sometimes. So you have a pocket door. But thank goodness we rented the whole place out to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little too cozy for someone you don't know, in my opinion. Yeah. And in case you, your wife gets mad at you, she can kick you out into this room. So <laughs> you have a little privacy. But uh, in any case, there we go. How about we go check out the other room, hon? And once again, you hear that gurgling noise, but it's, as you can see, it's pretty quiet in the other pods. And once again, you get a nice portal to watch all the fishes go by. And we have some, it's kind of, it's kind of kitschy, kind of fun how they decorate everything. Hun, why don't you show them some of the fun Our things. favorite pillow. <laughs> uh, that's, that's us. Yes. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, especially the abs on Jim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe at one time. But, uh, some of the, uh, something neat I found interesting was this old, looks like it should have been in a submarine depth gauge. You can see right there where it says it's 21 feet down below and an old style NORAD kind of phone here. How cool is that? That's uh, actually a mechanical phone, like having two tin cans and a string. In case all the power goes out, you still have that one, that'll always work. So, what we do for entertainment, there is a cupboard full of board games and fun stuff for you to do, videos. We watched a video last night, which was absolutely kitschy fabulous. Hello down there. And Let's see if I, can get this I will focus in. let Jim tell you about it. He's the movie buff. Tony Randall, as you can see there to the left, and a very young Richard Dreyfus, And great terms like groovy and out of sight. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Circa 1964. The theme, it, real fast, is this was recommended to us by our scuba porter. It, it, everything here is related to being underneath the water. So they had to stay there for 30 days on a house they built 90 feet underneath the water and all sorts of hijinks ensue. And you have a choice from all kinds of underwater movies, so... You could even bring your own if you like. What you can do. And then we have a fully stocked fridge, lots of drinks, lots of eats, lots of snacks. We have eaten and drank non-stop since we arrived here, so obviously we've de you know, depleted some of their <laughs> resources. There's snacks here, cookies, crackers, popcorn, hot chocolate, um, everything you can imagine, coffee. Uh, for dinner last night, which was really interesting, and we kept our pizza box here. Oh, yeah. Before you leave the oh, lodge, the uh, land lodge, they give you a menu. And you get to pick what kind of pizza you want and what kind of hoagies you want. So we had ham and mushroom pizza and meatball hoagies. They were to die for. And the same porter, we were talking about our scuba diving porter, comes up at 6 p.m. in with the airtight suitcase and he delivers your hot food. And uh, we're from Italianville, and I'll let Jim tell you how good the Italian food was underwater <laughs> yeah. in Florida. We're, in, we're from South Jersey, right outside of Philly, so uh, these are some homegrown Italians, and they, they just, they couldn't be outdo this pizza and sub that we had over here. It's fantastic. Amazing food. Where really they were. Yeah. And, hey, hon, is there any literature you'd like to show them? Ah. <laughs> I hope all of you are brilliant enough to know who Jules Verne is, Jules Verne Under Sea Lodge. <laughs> Certainly you've heard of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. He is the author of that book. So obviously when you're here, if you want to read it, you can. But yeah, famous guy. Yep. And some of the fun little amenities they had, they have down here Best is... Best table ever. <laughs> we're trying to figure out how to unbolt it and bring it up with us. It's a merman, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> And then, of course, not to be outdone. A beautiful mermaid. And we'll show you from the tail up. Because she is so pretty. She is pretty. And, of course, the remnants Look of at our those eyes. Look at those eyes. <laughs> the remnants of our breakfast. So for breakfast, they give you um, muffins and fresh fruit, oatmeal, um, cold cereal, orange juice. Everything delicious. So breakfast was good as well. Coffee. Yep. You want for nothing while you're here. Exactly. 
So we had the, absolutely the best time. And as a memento, we want to take this guy home. We saw this case with all these beautiful things in here and we fell in love with this octopus. So when our porter arrives in just a few minutes, we are going to ask him if that's for sale so we can have something to take back to Jersey to remember the most fabulous hotel in the world. There's a sign outside that says this is the only underwater hotel in the world. And I know that there's one in, um, that they call underwater in Dubai, for example, but it's actually just walk downstairs. This is the only one you scuba dive to, so. Yep. And how they got this down here, a little history, real fast. They actually filled these habitats with water and then drained them out with the guys in it. You can see the water's halfway up to their waist there. So not too tech, but effective. Best time ever, Jules Undersea Lodge. We highly recommend anyone come here. It is worth every penny. Um, and don't be intimidated by the fact that you don't know how to scuba dive. We didn't know how, and we made it here and had the time of our lives. Endorsed by Nemo.